Just a little disclaimer. I will be talking about the Europeans in this particular video. But for the record, I am at liberty to actually talk about them because I do have European DNA in me. My mother, she's half European. I'm not going to use the word half white because there's no such thing as a white person. There's no such thing as a black person. There's different shades of red. Most, most, most often time when you look at a so-called Caucasian, they look like the, the color of your palm, right? That's why I refer to them as the palm color people or pink people. But they're not white. They use the word white because it represents purity and they give us the word black because it represents evil, darkness. But anyway, let's talk about the Throgdodites. Who are the Throgdodites? Who are descendants of the Throgdodites? Let me give you a little brief history. Now, the Throgdodites were cave dwellers. These were some creature-like beings. Nobody knows where they came from. Some people speculate that they came from outer space, whatever, right? These are probably fallen angels um, offspring, you know what I'm saying? Because remember in the Bible, the book of Enoch, the watchers, they came down from their estate, which is the fallen angels, and they created a new species of mankind. The descendant of the fallen angels is who is ruling today. But I'm going to leave that very vaguely. So the Throgdodites was cave dwellers, right? They lived in the cave. These was like hunter gatherers. They had problem with the sunlight. That's why they dwell mostly in the caves. Okay. Then you had our people, right, the sun people, amalgamated with them, basically discovered them. And, you know, they, you know how the European history is to go around and rape and conquer and spread their DNA. So that's what happened. They spread their DNA with our people and they had a new, I guess, quote unquote, human kind, right, mankind called Europeans, Okay, so the Throgdodites actually are, I, I, I actually know the Neanderthal are actually descendants of the Throgdodites, and the Europeans are descendants of the Neanderthals. And this is why you see they have that, that, that hue, that color, that melan, melan, not, I'm sorry, non melanated skin complexion, which is, I refer to as a palm color. If you look at your palm and look at their complexion, that's exactly the color it is. They're not white. If you look at the outline where it says Throgdodite, you die so white. I've never seen a person that looked like that. But anyway, these Throgdodites, right, a.k.a. Um, Neanderthal, they came from out of the caves. And what happens is after a while, they started to evolve to look more like us. The more, I guess as time goes on, the more time passes and the more they start to look more like us, the sun people, the ether beings. We refer to ourselves as humans, but we're not, not really humans. Okay, that's for another video, though. So this is where you get the out of Africa theory. This is where you get them showing this chart where they evolved. They're literally telling you where they came from. But because a lot of us are closed minded, we're not really paying attention to what they're saying. These people, because if you notice on this chart, it doesn't show a melanated people person at the end of the, of the evolution. It shows a Caucasian. And this is why they have this wicked tendency because of these creatures, right? They was hunters. They was very... Um, I would say they, uh, what's that word I want to use, but I don't want to mess the video up trying to remember, but they like warfare. They like to hunt and kill. They didn't have humanity. They didn't have, let's say empathy. They just go around and kill. And basically it was a, a survival thing for them. Even their own offspring. They used to do a lot of weird shit with them. I just keep it as that. Right. That's where you get the incest from and all that, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, again, that's for another video. So when people ask me, why do I refer to these people as hybrids? They're not, in other words, they, they wasn't created by the most high God. They really wasn't. They was created by the fallen angels. These people, the fallen angels are basically right now is ruling this world, right? At the time, y'all call him Jesus Christ. I refer to him as Lucifer. He's the one that's ruling this planet. And his offspring is actually in charge of this prison planet. This is why you see warfare. These entity literally thrives on warfare. Right. They're like energy vampire. They put the world in oppression and they feed off our negative energy. Right. That's why they have arenas, basketball arenas, football arenas, because when you go to these places and you ex exhibit some kind of emotion, they harvest it. Even in the churches, everything is about emotion. Right. The music that we listen to, it comes from the fallen ones, believe it or not. Right. And they it solicits some kind of emotion and they harvest this shit. This is why they always have wars. They thrive on warfare. They love bloodshed, bloodshed. And every time a blood is spilled, it's like a sacrifice to their daddy, Lucifer. Those people over there calling themselves the people of the Bible. You know, I'm talking about the ish people. 
their daddy is actually Lucifer. That's who they worship. That's who they pay homage to. They're in charge of both sides of the war in, in a lot of cases, okay? But I just want to share this with y'all. So anytime y'all hear me call them hybrids, this is who I'm referring to. They are descendant of Neanderthal. The Neanderthal are descendant of Thragladites, right? The Thragladites amalgamated with, mixed in with, with ether beings, melanated people, and we have a new species of so-called mankind. Notice when a white woman and a black man have a baby, they have a new species, a new, I guess you'll call an other, right? Because they're not black, they're not white. These Neanderthals are not humans, and they're not like us.